Hello everyone, welcome to the PyCharm Fast API tutorial series. We have successfully created the user registration API. Let's quickly move on and complete the remaining APIs for our user module, like getting a list of all users, retrieving or deleting user information based on ID or primary key. Back to our router.py file. I'm going to create a function get under all under users which will return the list of all users from the database. I'm going to register the route and create a response model. I will move to schema and create a class display user, which inherits from base model. I will be returning ID, name, and email. We will be creating a config class, which controls the behavior of Pydantic in this case, we are going to set the attribute orm under mode equal true, which basically is to map the orm objects defined in our models. As per the fast API documentation, without orm under mode, if you returned a SQL alchemy model from your path operation, it wouldn't include the relationship data, even if you declare those relationships in your Pydantic models. But with orm mode, as Pydantic itself will try to access the data it needs from the attributes instead of assuming a dict. You can visit the link shown in your screen if you are interested to know more. In our response model, we're going to use list because we will return a list of user objects instead of one object. Let's go ahead and create our service for all under users. We will be returning all users from the database. Let me check in the browser whether the API is reflecting or not. Great, we can see the endpoint. Let me test it out. Yes, it works fine. As of now, I only have one user. Let me create some dummy users and check again. We successfully created dummy users. Let's check again. Yes, you can see we received a list of users present in our database. Now let's go back to the router and create a new endpoint to retrieve user details by ID, basically focusing on one particular user information. The route is going to receive user under ID, which we will take in the path parameter.
The response model will return display user. We will only be returning one user, so there's no point in using a list. I will create a new service get under user under by under ID in which I will pass the user ID and the database. I will be using optional because the user might not be there in the DB or not. If the user is present, that's good. I will return the user object. Otherwise, I will raise an exception. Looks good. Let me check in the browser again. Yes, it's reflecting. I will try to send the user ID of a specific user and test. If I pass one, it will return Elon Musk. Two and three will return sample user two and sample user three. Let's move back again to the router and create our last endpoint, delete user by ID. Same as previously, only difference we won't return. Instead, we'll delete the object from the database. We won't be returning anything, so the response class will be the base response class. You can create your own custom response class, or when creating a fast API class instance or an API router, you can specify which response class to use by default. We successfully created the four endpoints, user registration, listing, user by ID, and delete user. Let's retest the delete feature. I will delete the user ID three. You can see I got the response 204. If I now try to retrieve the information for user ID three, it will raise an exception with a not found message. You can see the user listing is returning two objects. The third object has been successfully deleted. Great, we have successfully completed the user module. In the next video, we will be covering the products. So stay tuned, I'll see you in the next video.